Storms squeezed out a lot of water over Maine in the last few days and just across the border in New Hampshire, the rains caused some serious problems for roads. New Center Maine's Sam Olson is live in Madison, New Hampshire tonight with a look at the damage there. Hi, Sam. Hey, Brian and Amanda, I'm on Kobe Hill Road and I'm standing next to an area that completely washed out and you can see this large chunk of pavement completely collapsed and for the next half mile all the way down to where this road meets Route 113, about 80% of the road looks just like this. My driveway is washed out a little bit and the roadway down there is pretty much gone. Les Horn has been living here on Kobe Hill Road for more than 40 years. He says he's never seen this sort of damage or a storm quite like the one that rolled through yesterday. Oh, the rain was torrential. I was sitting in my house and it would just uh, come in waves. That downpour causing damage throughout Madison, but the bulk of it right here. The foreman for the town's public works department says the damage here is pretty extensive and it's not going to be a quick or easy fix. It's a lot <laughs> and it's, uh, it's going to be a while before we get it back together. He says they'll need to rebuild this whole entire road and all of its culvert crossings. It's going to take some time, but we're going to have crews here and just start at the source and we're going to try to meet in the middle. And There are still several families who live on this road who are stuck at their houses. Chick says the fire department is checking in on them to see if they need any help or supplies. If Mother Nature can help us, uh, give us some decent weather for a change, then we'll do the best we can. People are going to have to be patient. Chick says they'll start fixing people's driveways first, but there isn't a timeline just yet for when all of this work will be completed. He says it's just going to take a lot of time and money to repair this. In Madison, New Hampshire, Sam Olson, News Center, Maine.